and diverging lenses. So first of all, I'd like to tell you that there are two kinds of lenses. One, which looks like this. The other one, that looks like this. This lens is called the converging and this is called the diverging lens. So generally, a converging lens would cause rays, like suppose they're coming here, the center one always goes straight. Okay, I believe this was not the center. And then this one. Do this like this. And why it is called converging? Because it causes all the rays to go through one single point. That is called the focal point or principal focus. Okay. It is. Between this, like the center, to this point, this is called the focal length. All right, let's move it to the side like this so that we have much larger space. Now, usually, what you need to remember is that. the more curved the lens is the shorter the focal length will be because then it will come closer to this and then it is going to bend them closer to the lens understood Good. Now, speaking of these lens, oh, by the way, I just forgot the name of this is the other name is also con convex lens, C O N V E X. For the diverging lens, which is also called concave, what we need to remember is that. this when the parallel rays you know arrive onto this center one always goes straight and then the other ones would diverge away like this oh my goodness like that and obviously when you look at them like you extrapolate their origin so you'd see they're meeting at a single point behind the lens and now this would be the principal focus and from the center of the lens this is going to be the focal lens okay yes so it's basically on that side Now, when we have these, we need to learn how to make ray diagrams, okay? So let's look at some of the ray diagrams that we need to understand.
So the first kind of ray diagram, I'm going to make, uh, you've done this, should I go forward? Yeah. Okay. So the things you need, suppose this is a central line and the lens is placed here. Instead of making lens again and again, I'm just making like the central line. And then, wait a second, let me just uh, uh, move it to another view. That would be better than, much better than this. Okay. Let me move um, this. Uh, oh my God. Okay, bro. Now. So let's call this point as F. So F can be on both sides at equal distances and let's call this point as 2F. The reason we're calling this 2F because if this is the focal length like three boxes from here then double the focal length would be 2F. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So case one, so when you place an image, which is basically somewhere object, which is somewhere between F and 2F, okay. Now this line is called the principal axis and the lens could be drawn like this as well. Do you understand it? So we're looking at the first one. Yeah. I'll copy this okay, for future use. Okay, now. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take one line from the top of this and extend it to the center of the lens like this. Okay. So this is the first step. And then you go from this point on to F. You always go through F like this and extend it like that. That would be the second step. And the third step is that you go from the top and go through the optical center, which is the center of the lens Right, this point. It's called optical center. If you notice, the lines meet right here, which is, which means the, uh, the image is going to be like that. So this is our object, this is our image. Do you understand this? Yeah. So what we've done is the object is basically placed from f greater than f and less than 2f. Do you understand? Yes. And the image that is formed is greater than 2f, which means beyond 2f. Like that. Now some properties that I want to tell you is it is a real image because if you are watching it from your eyes it is forming there. Number two, it is inverted, it's upside down, right? And number three, it is magnified. Magnified, you can also write enlarged, that would be the same thing, okay? Yeah. No. 
what is a real image real image is an image that can be formed on the screen we'll see virtual image how it looks and then i'll tell you the definition of that as well okay please draw this yeah. and you done drawing should we go forward um rich okay Case two when you place the object exactly at two f like this. So object is at two f. And now let's see where the image forms. So first line has to go straight to the center of the lens. Then you bend the line. Oh. Then you bend the line such that it moves from F. Okay, like that. And then the next line should go through the same point and passes through the center of the um, optical center which means now the image is exactly like this okay now yes. the properties so the properties of this image are like you can say the image is also add to it number one it is a real image because it is forming on the other side as a screen or eye it is inverted and it is same size because as you can see on both locations the height is same okay yeah Then, okay, you can draw this and then move forward. Okay.
Porque não. The next thing is case three. Let's first uh, copy the diagram. Okay, fine. So now, if you put the object like beyond to M, then you can basically start one way from the top, straight go here, and then bend this from F like this. Then the other ray will go from the optical center and it meets right here. So you bake the image. So your object is an image. Now if you see the object is greater than 2f, right? And the image yes. is formed greater than f but less than 2f so somewhere in the middle and if you look at how it is number one it is a real image because it's uh, forming on the other side and on the screen it is inverted and then it is diminished Diminished or smaller size is the same thing. Okay. I did not. Okay, done? Yeah. Now, case four. So this time, let's suppose we have kept our image. before f like object before f so what's gonna happen again the same thing one ray straight to the center of lens from the center of lens you go through f and the other ray goes through the center like this now if you see these are not exactly meeting somewhere so when you look from the eye you perceive them to go like this so your eye thinks that they are formed like this image is being formed somewhere here do you understand it's just perceived yeah so now the object is less than f and the image is always be it will be greater than f however now this image is virtual the reason is that now it does not form on the screen but perceived 
by I that it forms where object is. That's why it is a virtual image. If you see, it is upright. Upright means it is not inverted the same way standing as object. And also it is magnified. These would be the properties of it. Okay. Yes. Then should I go forward? Yes. No. So when you're basically looking at different lenses, what we want to see that how much it bends is called power of a lens so it is the ability of a lens to refract light now Greater refraction means greater power of lens. Okay. Now, so speaking of this, then suppose if you see a lens like this. And there's a thicker lens like this. The main difference between these two will be that when the rays come, the thinner one would refract it less. This is the focal point, right? And the thicker one would be able to refract the light more. So the focal point is going to be closer as you can see. So this means that number one, greater curved lens have shorter focal lengths. and shorter focal length means greater power of lens okay yes then
two things that we learned is that the power of lens is related to one focal length and two the shape of lens obviously it's thicker or you know thinner or whatever now power lens can be calculated by a simple formula p equals to 1 upon f where This is the power the SI unit for a power of lens is D. It's called um dio tres and here this F is the focal length of lens and it should be in meters you get my point yes now i just want to you should write a note here that power is inversely proportional to focal length number one and number two for a concave mirror where the focal length is negative power has a negative value okay yes okay please write this down So the questions can be very simple for this formula. Question could be that a focused image is formed through a convex lens at sixty centimeter away onto a screen. Calculate the power of lens. Okay, can you do that? Okay. Yes, please. Uh, one point six six. 
yes very good so you got to convert this uh, you converted it to uh, meters right uh, meter yeah very good so focal length is 60 cm and uh, okay 0 0.6 so free, uh, this would be uh, okay sorry p over 0 0.6 is 1.66 d direct width right is that clear yes all right now you can also put lenses into uh, basically series okay and if you combine lenses like that right for example you put a lens like this another lens like this and so on so what happens is that then the total power So these are in series okay suppose its power is p1 this is p2 and these two are called the compound lens compound lens mean that multiple lenses are put in series understood yes so the total is going to be p1 plus p2 and up till no matter how many they are understood like you can find the total power like that yeah the other thing is that you should always remember in order to compound it should be arranged so their principal axis are aligned which means that they should be like both have most must have the same like they should be like one principal axis for them okay and the other thing should be that they should be touching or must be very close you should not like put them away got it Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, So then write uses of real image and virtual image. Real image are images formed um, by a projector because it forms on the screen and onto the retina retina is the place of her eye which you know detects images 
वर्चुअल इमेजेस अपेयर लाइक ऑब्वियसली दे यू नो फॉर्म बिहाइंड द स्क्रीन और समटाइम यू नो लाइक वेयर द ऑब्जेक्ट इज सो यूजली दैट इज वैन यू सी इमेजेस ऑन मैग्नीफाइंग ग्लास एंड ऑब्वियसली मिरर शोज यू अ वर्चुअल इमेज बिकॉज in the mirror reflection you see the same person but on the it, the person is behind the mirror which cannot be possible right yes one thing to note here is that all images formed by a concave lens which is the diverging one are virtual it cannot form real images okay yeah please write it like that just one more thing that i want to tell you about real images that real image rays meet at a point but virtual image rays do not meet they are perceived to to come from a single point do you understand so just like that they're not meeting really yeah. okay good i did not feel If you have any question, please let me know. No, everything is clear. Cool. Now, now one very simple equation that I want to tell you. That's called the lens equation. So the lens equation is one upon f equals to one upon u plus one upon v. Now, I just want to tell you this: no matter what kind of image is this, you need to know three things. This is basically the focal lens. This is the object distance. from lens and this is the image distance from lens okay is that clear is yes. now please note that this equation is valid for thin lens only whether it's diverging or converging doesn't matter and 
number one, right? The values are positive when image is real. That's how you can you know, know that too. Now, so suppose question a student investigates the focal length of a thin lens by using it to project project image onto a screen now object is set from lens at 50.0 cm focal point of lens is required okay that's what we're finding and the image is focused onto the screen placed 75 centimeter from the lens is that clear can you find it please yes yeah. all right Hurry up. It has to be in meter or centimeter. It can be in meters. So then your answer will also be in meters. Don't worry about that, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Three point three three centimeter. Uh, no meter. You convert it into meter. Yeah. Okay. Three point three three would be correct. Yep. Three point three three meters. You did it by doing I think fifty plus like sorry zero point five why is it three three I don't know I don't think so zero point five and zero point seven five you did that right and yeah you got three point three three okay let me see why is that one divided by zero point five Plus one divided by zero point seven. Yeah, yeah. Three point three three. Uh, but then I think you forgot about one upon f, right? Ikra. So you want to do oh, one. Oh, is it? Yeah. It should be zero point three then. Okay, Ikra. Zero point three zero meters like that okay very good everything is clear Ikra? yes sir 